Hi, I'm Rob Sisternino. I'm the host of Rob as a Podcast. I've been doing this podcast for over five years now. I podcast about reality TV. I'm a two-time Survivor contestant. I am getting ready to podcast. It is Wednesday night. It is exactly, I will show you, 5.02 p.m. on Wednesday night, March 4th, and I am going to document what my about 30 next hours are gonna be like here in this video. And that starts with me watching the East Coast feed of Survivor. So I am going to move here. My wife and I just moved into a new place approximately 10 days ago. Uh, And this is where I will be spending most of my time from now on. And I will be watching the new episode of Survivor and podcasting about it live here tonight. It is 6.13. I'm getting ready to go live. I just finished watching Survivor. It was a a very strong episode for an episode two of Survivor. Uh, I'm live here. This is my my co-host for this. Uh, This is, uh, let me see if I can get in in here. Uh, This is, uh, let me bring in Steven. This is Steven who... Who I host with, uh, and uh, the, in about an hour I'll be done with that, and then we uh, start the upload. Okay. Yes, that's right. Survivor Know It Alls is live here after episode number two of Survivor season thirty, and it was a strong episode. Stephen Fishback. I thought this was an amazing episode, Rob. I went into Tribal Council thinking it's either Nina or it's it's going to be Jen. And it was a third person. And what was awesome about this episode was that as soon as it happened, you knew what happened. You you could make sense of it. So we're going to try to make sense of this episode tonight. We're going to try to make up a sense of the episode strategy. But I think from an editing and a storytelling perspective, this was such an awesome episode. I loved it. Like, truly did not know who was going home between two people. And then I was blindsided. I was hashtag blindsided by the person who went, Vince. Yeah, no, I was very surprised tonight. I really thought it was going to be Jen, and especially after they put in the piece about how I've been watching this show since it's eight, anything could happen. Oh, right, yeah, right. I feel like I'm on TV. That was like classic, okay, this is the... Yeah, she's getting her little send-off. ...boot edit, and that was not the case. So, yeah, very exciting. Okay, so I just finished the Survivor Know-It-Alls on uh, Wednesday night. Time check is... It's now 7.14. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, get this set up to go edit. You know, I haven't shown you guys uh, too much of what this is. Uh, This room right here is uh, the new studio that I had uh, set up in the place that we just moved into. Um, Of course, uh, you know, this is what you see behind me uh, when I do the show. Uh, And I've got this monitor behind me, which I can sort of change out to put up uh, whatever I want for the shows. And then, of course, uh, I have my my microphone here, uh, which is connected uh, to my mixer. And then I have uh, lots of uh, light sources that are uh, got a light above me. And then also uh, I got lights around the room, lots of soundproofing stuff. And so the thing that I set up here is here in my new office uh, or this new studio. Now I can leave the studio and go out here. And then I have all of my editing set up out here so i'll be later on i will be over here and editing the show to get that up and uh posted uh online it's 7 39 i just ate some dinner and uh got to hang out with uh my wife and my son for a little bit and uh now it's bath time downstairs i am up here working on the graphics for Uh, posting this podcast, uh, which is going to go up in just a little bit. And then I have uh, a couple more things to record in a little bit. I'm going to set up uh, something for the Survivor exit interview where I talk to the person who got kicked off of Survivor in the morning. And then also uh, I'm recording a daily video to uh, raise awareness for our podcast awards uh, campaign. I'm actually going to do that with Nicole. Okay, the podcast with Stephen the Know-It-Alls is exporting. Let's kick off the This Week in Survivor History segment. This Week in Survivor History with your host, Jordan Kalish. Yes! You almost got it that time. It's so close. Uh, It is actually Kalish, um, but I kind of knew that was coming, though. Why? What did did it say? 
It said it said Kalish, um, but it's really pronounced Kalish. And if you could remember that, it's like every kiss begins with K. Every all right, that's uh, uh, so K is the start, first. Syllable. It starts with K, and, and then, then and then wish, and, and, and then the next letter is is. It, is lish, which which um, rhymes with the first syllable of fishback. Okay, and it's just and it's said said the same way that it's spelt. Right now, it is nine twenty five p.m. on Wednesday. I am getting ready to record a daily video or a daily podcast that I've been doing to uh, remind people to vote for podcast awards uh, rather than like tweet like, Hey, vote for us, vote for us, vote for us for the two podcast awards that we're nominated for. I thought that we should try to make content. So I'm doing a daily podcast where I'm going to be answering a question. And for these podcasts that I'm doing, I'm being joined by my wife who is saying she does not want to be on camera. Is that correct? Yeah, not today. Not today. And <laughs> it's late at night. I just took a shower. Is it annoying to be married to somebody who is constantly making shows in the house? If I thought it was annoying, we'd be divorced. So you don't think it's annoying? No, I don't think it's annoying. Do you like getting to do stuff like this? I do, yeah. And you're not lying? I'm getting ready. I'm going to watch Survivor for a second time before I go to sleep tonight. Nicole's gonna watch it for a first time. Nicole, are you excited? I'm so excited. Do you know what's gonna happen? Um, yes, Abby Maria spoiled it on Facebook. Oh, uh, Abby Maria, okay. Yeah. I fell asleep watching Survivor. Nicole said I had to go to bed, so I'm gonna take another shot at trying to get through the episode a second time in the morning. Get some hot water going. And then uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, edit and uh, get started, and then we'll have uh, breakfast a little bit. You know, I'd rather uh, be up here early in the morning than like late at night because I like find myself like last night just I can't I can't focus after a certain time of day. So I'd always rather just get up early and attack this stuff. It's 8:01. I'm out walking the dog. I don't know if you can see this, yeah. Here I am, walking the dog, getting ready. Gonna go eat breakfast, make coffee, and get ready for the exit interview. I gotta start coming up with more questions for Vince. Not every day during the Survivor season is gonna be as busy as the Thursday after the show. It's not exactly representative of what every single day is like, but over the course of the week, I mean, just about every single day, I'm probably doing like three or four different shows, or at the, at the very least, uh, two or three different shows. So uh, if it's not Survivor, it tends to be something, but Survivor is the one show that I really just clear out my entire day just to focus on getting that one podcast out. Hey, what do you want for breakfast today? <laughs> what do you want for breakfast today? Toast? Okay. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't do that. Nicole, do you want to be in the video today? I just woke up. I know, but it's 8.20. Wake up. Hey, Cole. I thought you wanted toast. I'm feeling okay. I don't need that much, that much coffee yet. You seem like you're a little annoyed with this. I'm annoyed that I had to wake up at 2.30 in the morning. Oh, so you're mad at the baby. <laughs> I'm not mad at the baby. Back to work. Trying to come up with my questions for the exit interview. I try to write them out ahead of time because I only have 15 minutes and I want to make it sound like I am have good questions and uh, just try to be, you know, rapid fire and make the most out of the time that I have. Hello. Hey, Ron, how's it going? It's going good. How are you doing? Good. I have Vince. Let me put him through. Okay, great. Vince, you're on the line with Rob. Hi, right, Rob. What's up? Vince, good morning. How's it going? Hey, brother. Yeah. Good Good to talk to you. Yeah, man. Yeah, Vince. I've uh, heard a little bit of your podcast. 
from time to time. Oh, good. I, all positive. I hope this is going to be on the. I hope this is going to be on the light side of the dark spectrum. <laughs> I hope so too. That uh, <laughs> well, that's always what we're shooting for: light side of the the dark spectrum. Anyway, uh, Vince, I am devastated because I wanted to have you as a part of our Survivor Worlds Apart experience the whole way through. Thirty nine days of Vince, I wanted. Yeah, why is that? Because you were great TV. I definitely brought. I you know I offered a lot of content. Yeah, you did. I offered a lot of content, and the um, the way that I was portrayed, episode one, albeit a lot of fun to watch, was a little odd, awkward to see. Uh, it was maybe an alternate perspective. I'm not used to seeing my view of of my or personal view would be different. It is 10.43 right now. I just finished recording everything for the Survivor exit interview. Uh, I have to go ahead and piece that all together. Also, I have to grab all the questions from Facebook for my interview with Cass. And this is a little bit unusual that I'm going to be recording another podcast at 11.30, but this is the only time that my co-host, Josh Wiggler, can record the Walking Dead feedback show. So I'm going to definitely be cutting it really close. So I have about... 45 minutes to get the new podcast up to get the exit interview posted and also get these questions for cast so while the files are transferring from in the studio to over here i'm going to work on the questions for cast and then i'm going to go right into editing the vince exit interview and getting that posted Okay, it's 11.41 right now, and Josh was actually delayed, ironically, because he also does exit interviews, and Vince is really long-winded, so uh, because of that, Josh is about 10 minutes behind schedule to record our Walking Dead show, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him on right now. Okay, it is 12.30 right now. I just finished with Josh. I got some, uh, trying to eat uh, oatmeal real quick. I'm about to call Cass. I gotta print out my notes real quick of all of the questions from the audience. right now I just finished up my interview with Cass uh, it went pretty good but there was definitely some Skype issues on her end that I'm gonna have to clean up in the edit tonight I have my next thing in an hour and 35 minutes I'm gonna be doing these survivor voicemails with Jessica Lease I still have to listen to all of the voicemails that have come in and there's a lot so that is going to take uh, probably about an hour or so of me listening to all the voicemails so I'm sort of in the position of that I am going to have to choose probably between lunch or taking a shower. I'm going to go ahead and pick lunch and wing it on the shower thing and hope that there's a window that's going to open up. Uh, later on in time wise not because I smell it turns out that there is a leftover macaroni from dinner last night so I can actually just eat leftovers and then listen to the voicemail so uh, we picked up some time and there may still be hope for uh, that shower hey Rob it's Steve Kevin Emily and Krista the St. Louis branch of the Wine and Cheese Alliance what has a better chance of happening? My future wife, Jen Brown, winning Survivor this season, or RHAP winning the People's Choice Podcast of the Year at the upcoming podcast awards? Is it just me, or the quote about Nina being a mom and not a girl in regards to her being not invited to Skinny Dip? feel like it came directly out of last season? Jess is also running a little late, so... We pushed the interview back till 4.10 Pacific time, so I am going to have time to take a quick shower. Uh, I really uh, I look forward to it. That I feel like I had like a lot of like congestion today, so I really could use just taking a hot shower and just like uh, trying to get myself to be able to breathe a little bit. All right, it is 4.16 right now. I'm going to get Jessica on the line, who is my guest, to talk about the voicemails. 
Uh, I probably listened to uh, probably between 40 and 50 different voicemails that came in between uh, today and la or last night and today, and we're going to go over uh, probably about somewhere between 10 to 12 on the podcast, so I'm going to record that. That's part of a uh, basically a three-hour podcast that I do on Thursdays. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, don't no, make a three-hour podcast. Um, a lot of people don't want to listen to a three-hour podcast, but... Uh, some people do want a three-hour podcast, so I do a three-hour podcast for the people that want them because I find that my philosophy is to try to keep the most intense fans happy and sort of forget about everybody else and hopefully, you know, turn some of those everybody else's into the people that are really um, fanatical about the product. Just right now, it's four. It's four twenty-two uh, Pacific time, and we're about to record uh, the voicemails. What's What's your uh, thoughts on uh, what, what this process is like? Um, geez, so a surprising amount of work. Like, I think a lot of people who are podcast consumers think it's just a matter of sitting down, and plugging in, and shooting your mouth off, but. There's a tremendous amount of preparation up in your head and physically and everything that goes into this. Here is my good friend and our chief Amazing Race correspondent to help us go over all of our voicemails and social media. Here is the great Jessica Lee. Jessica, how are you? Well, apparently I got a promotion. I was used to be just the senior Amazing Race correspondent. Now I'm the chief. Gee, yes. Well, happy promotion, Jess. That's fantastic. Yes. Welcome to the Big Survivor podcast for this week. I'm like a sea level executive now. <laughs> yeah, sea level. You're above sea level. It is 606 right now. I just finished recording with Jess. So most of the podcast is recorded now. The thing with Cass is recorded now. The thing with Jess is recorded now. I still need to record the uh, opening and closing segment of the show, just sort of like starting the show and ending the show. Um, I think I'm going to try, I might uh, eat and see what's going on downstairs uh, for a little bit and then make some coffee and then get into uh, that final recording. I'm still wrestling with the coming to you live uh, intro part. I asked people on the podcast last night, uh, what do you think of if I used to say coming to you live from my apartment and then uh, I've now been saying coming to you live from the RHAP studio and uh, it's been about 50-50 so it hasn't been very helpful at all. So I'm going to say RHAP studio here, but um, I'm going to reserve the right to call it um, my apartment still. And people have suggested naming the studio my apartment because I live here so much, um, which I think is interesting, but we'll see. Coming to you live from the RHAP studio, it's Rob has a podcast. And now here's a man who has never been invited to go skinny dipping either. Rob Sesternino. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our big Survivor podcast here after episode two of Survivor Worlds Apart. And we are back here. Oh, what, do you, what do you do? Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Don't do that. What is that? What is that? Oh, you know how to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be a podcaster when you grow up, right? You need a real job? Well. I think at this point I'm up to uh, finish Thursday on the schedule, but it looks like at this point I'm going to be doing like 17 or 18 different podcasts over the course of the week. And uh, I think that's a new record for me. I, I think that's more than I've ever done. Plus, I've done like the mini podcasts, which are like 10 minutes long to try to tell people about the podcast awards. But I don't really count those. On Sunday, uh, because I'm leaving for New York to go do, we're doing a live podcast taping uh, in New York next week. I'm trying to do like probably like five or six podcasts on Sunday. And it's just like a pace that is unsustainable, but I feel like at this point right now, I just need to try to do as many shows as I can and as much as I can and just figure out the rest later. But I don't know how, like how many weeks and months I can sustain the pace that I'm going at now, but 
in the meantime, like I just don't see another way. And, and it's a, a really a mess that I've made myself. Nobody told me to make all these podcasts, but I just am like continuing just to churn and churn and churn out uh, all of these shows. And I feel like, I don't know what I feel like. I feel like it seems like it's, they all seem like a good idea when I say to do them. But sometimes I look at this schedule of like how many shows I have to do in a given week. And I'm sort of like, I don't know what, what I was thinking, but uh, I try not to think too much about that and just try to make the shows. Okay, it is. 8.48 uh, right now. I have to stop with the editing because uh, Nicole wants to go to bed eventually. And so we need to record her segment for the daily uh, podcast awards series. So Nicole, what a nice husband I am to rearrange the schedule, right? What a nice wife you are to rearrange her schedule. I'm, I'm not a wife at all. What a nice wife I am to rearrange my schedule. Yes. Why? What were you going to be doing? I was going to go to bed. Yeah, so it's 8.40. I've had a very long day. I was up with the baby at 2.30 in the morning mm -hmm. for an hour and a half. Yeah. And you were snoring away. Where's your, where's your video of what you did today? Hey, everybody. What's going on? Rob Sisternino back here with another one of your Road to the Podcast Awards special. This is our series of podcasts reminding you, the voting public of the podcast awards that Rob is podcast nominated for not one, but two podcast awards and that you are eligible to vote. What a country, what a world uh, every 24 hours for the podcast awards at podcastawards.com. Nicole, did you vote today? I did. God bless America. <laughs> yeah. I saw you even tweeted. To vote. I did. You're, you're welcome. Yes. I didn't even have to ask you. And people said, you know what? Thanks, Nicole. Thanks for the reminder. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Mm -hmm. If, if we win a podcast award, I'll let you take a picture with it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, Nicole, of course, what we do here on this show is every day we take one voicemail from our listeners mm -hmm. and we answer one question. Yes. And these questions come to us at robhasawebsite.com slash voicemail. Earlier in this week, we talked about the origins of sucking kneecaps. Andre, senor, senor, It's 11.22. I had a problem with the export that I did, that the volume wasn't right on the guest. Cast was louder than I was, so... Hold on. <laughs> and I had to re-export it. Should be done it's relatively soon. Probably got like another half hour of export to go. It is 12.03 a.m. on Friday, March 6, 2015. Uh, it's been about exactly 30 hours since Survivor ended on Wednesday night, which is fitting because it is the 30th season of Survivor. The podcast is recorded. It is edited, it is uploaded, and it will be live after I click the mouse. Then this podcast is going to be out in the world, and I'm going to go to sleep. And by the time I wake up, um, a bunch of people will have listened to it already and will let me know what they think, and will continue to let me think, let me know what they think for. Uh, the entire rest of the day and the weekend and I will probably enjoy the commentary from the listeners unless they hate it. I had no idea when I started this how all-encompassing that all of this would be, that it would just take over every single part of my life and I love that I get to do it and I'm so happy 
that I get to do it, but I really don't know much else at this point. And I'm not sure if that means that I'm on my way to success or if it means that at some point it's just going to uh, be a complete burnout. But at this point in time, this is what I know how to do and I'm just gonna keep on doing it and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what I do. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for your support. And as long as you guys keep continuing to listening, to enjoy the podcast, then I'm going to keep doing whatever I can to make them. So thank you. And... Hey, I'm Rob Sistranino. I am a podcaster and the host of Rob Has a Podcast. I'm recording a video.